Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Catherine Constantinides, and I'm from South Africa. My essential question is how do we inspire children and youth of Africa to become the next generation of visionary leaders? As a single mother, I'm inspired every single day by my very own superhero, Matthew. It is important to me to see the way that he looks at the world each and every day. It inspires me because he looks at the world with an untainted view and a passion for life. This makes me question the kind of world that I want him to grow up in. What kind of human being will he be? What will he become? And who are the people and the pillars of society that will teach him the lessons and leadership values that he needs? And most importantly, how will I ensure that he becomes an active citizen who plays an integral role in building society, one that understands that the ideals of governance rest in the values that we put in them as citizens? So preparing this presentation for you and finalizing it, um, I had to make sure that there was something quirky about this. So it's the stat. 2.8 billion, which should in fact be 1.8 billion, but there are 1.8 billion babies that will be born in Africa by 2035. In a global context, 40% of the global population will live in Africa and will be under the age of 30. Now these are really huge numbers and huge statistics, but in 1.8 billion babies, I see 1.8 billion opportunities. So what is at stake? What exactly is our challenge? Our challenge really is to define the kind of world that these 1.8 billion opportunities will be if they are inspired to be visionary leaders. We don't want an aid-dependent Africa by 2035. We don't want broken democracies. And we certainly don't still want closed spheres of power and influence that control the leadership scope within our context in countries across Africa. And we certainly don't want a disillusioned youth who are not the visionary leaders we believe they can become. So what is the dream? It is a deliberate action and engagement. It's about inspiring greatness. Fayola is a Yoruba word and term that says, let us walk in honor. Today, my vision is a children's living museum, one that inspires children, one that inspires greatness in young people. This children's living museum is a space of hope, and it is a space that as, a, as African leaders today, we play a role in building the Africa of tomorrow by grooming young leaders who understand their civil duty in participating, not only in government, but in the governance issues of our continent. A museum because this space will be a physical space couched in four, in four spheres. The physical space, which is this museum that I've designed here for you, the second is a virtual museum that will be available online. The third, apps available to download on any kind of digital device. And fourth, a traveling exhibition. Why? Because leaders don't live in history books. Leaders are amongst us. This museum must seek to not forget the forgotten heroes that don't make the history books. But it must also be inspired to remember the great legacies of African leaders that have gone before us. Sorry. As I end off, I'd like to go back to, to the Nigerian phrase that is Fayola. And I ask each and every one of you to come along on a journey with me. Let us pave a journey that visionary leaders of tomorrow walk together in honour and in inspiring 1.8 billion visionary leaders 
through inspirational spaces that encourage them to find the leadership qualities that live within them. Because comrades, as I end off, I want to say to you, it's not enough to know the world that, as it is. It is essential that we understand the world as it could be. We must have that ability because we have a responsibility not only to our countries, but Africa and the places that we call home. Nyamboka, thank you.